Hey guys, before we start the video, I would like to t thank you very much for for all the support and all the like the engagement with the videos. Even though I'm not posting as many videos as I usually do, but yeah, uh, the weather is killing me, guys. It's like 41 degrees for last m week, 41 degrees Celsius. All right, that's almost 101 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And in the same time, I'm fasting from like 4 a.m. till 7 p.m., 7:30 p.m., 7:44 today p.m. And I just found out when I'm hungry, I can't function whatsoever. So, so yeah, the laziness is fucking crazy. But you know what? I'm glad I did this because I want to train my brain to actually be able to fast even. Uh, after I finish fasting Ramadan, which is like in five days or something. Uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Let's start the video. Boop. Brain mates! What is your profession? Hey, my name is Jordan. I'm from Jordan and you are watching The Jordan Show. Today we are reacting to the 10th episode of season 2 from the Ricky Gervais show with the title Leg Rubber. I have no fucking idea what is that. Let's start watching. Roll it! <laughs> That's my best friend. Cheers guys, this is my coffee. For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. This is one of them. Testing, is that alright? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon, that is Carl Pilkington. Alright. Alright. Carl, when was the last time you reminisced? Well, my mum and dad have been round, haven't they? So, been yeah. reminiscing a lot. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking about? We were just chatting about um, Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell would you chat about Tic Tacs? I don't know how you chat about it. Like, oh, there's a lot of flavours. Oh, it really tastes really good. Oh, it causes... I don't know. One of the great memories, yeah. The happy memories. Now, I used to love them. Yeah. When I was younger. Yeah. My dad got a load of them. Mm. What, got... this year? No, Just no, recently. years ago. Oh, years ago. Like, years ago, when I loved them. I said, I love Tic Tacs, me. Yeah. He met one of his mates. He didn't nick him from the sweet shop? No, no. No, that's no he knew did. some yeah. mate who uh, who could get his hand on a load. Right. And uh, he must have got about... He, he must have got about 30 crates of Tic Tacs. 30 crates <laughs> of Tic Tacs? Honestly, honestly mm. we'd have about 24 on each crate. <laughs> why, why? Why, why the fuck? It, it, he's talking about Tic Tacs like... He, he's... He, he, uh, oh, my God. It's like he's... They're doing like a drug deal or something. We but again, that's the, that's that's Carl's family. They're fucking crazy, all of them. I'm stuck in a cupboard under the uh, just in the kitchen, in the corner. Yeah. Now I work my way through about six crates. It's quite happy. When? In how long? I don't know. In about two weeks, three weeks. Whoa! Right. And then uh, after that, I'm getting sick of these. Right. Yeah. You were minty fresh, but you're oh, lovely fresh breath. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I haven't got that much more to tell you about it. It's just. What you just this, sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa! Bear in mind, this was something he was recently reminiscing with his parents <laughs> yeah. about. They were sat around, and we've already learned up to an hour could go by reminiscing. Yeah, yeah, sat around yeah. for an hour uh, talking yeah. about the, the great I've already run out of sorry, responses. I've got yeah. nothing to say about no that. Opinion about I mean, that. I was nearly going to say, "What do you do with the empty little flicky tic tac boxes?" Yeah. And then I mean, you realise that that's utterly dull and boring. Uh, well, and I, just, I was struggling. I don't know what this anecdote is, other than a yeah. bloke. Other than you said your dad, I like tic. I just can't believe this is happening, you know, it's Tic Tacs. Yeah, and they're, and Carl's family are having a huge deal about Tic Tacs. 
tics me. He went, all right, I talked to Albert. Albert, you got tic tacs? I've got 30 crates, if that'll do, yeah. Yeah, bring him out. Come on, Mr. Cobbard. He's got through 12 crates. What's his breath like? Fucking lovely, but he's been sick all over the cunting place. Oh, do you want some more? No, of course we fucking don't. You'll talk about that in a few years' time. Cause we wrote for about a fucking hour. No. Then we bring it up on an audio book. But that's, I think that's how we got onto it, because even though... I, tr I tried to get rid of a load. I used to give them to mates, take them to school, say, have some tic tacs. Yeah. You can have them for free. We used a load in the cat litter tray. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I just want to know why. Uh, please tell me why. Oh my god. No, no we, we didn't. didn't. We did. It no, was just didn't. ways of getting rid of them. Jesus Christ. Sort of freshy, sort of freshy smell, isn't it? That's okay, I think uh, for the Ricky Gervais show, I'm going to start doing uh, like two episodes a week or once a week because it gets funnier if I, if I make room between each and every uh, episode, to be honest, you know? Because like, you know, if I'm watching it every day, I, I have... Like, you know, I get some, I, 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 uh, I become on the same pace as they are. And, and you know, I start, you know, uh, like, you know, I start actually knowing what's going to happen. So if I, if I give like one week between each and every episode, it will be more funny for me and for you guys. That's it's the same amazing. sort of condensity in that, isn't it? Condensity, it is the same condensity. Um, condensity. Yeah, so I got rid of them like that. And then uh, the weird thing was, even though I'd got shut of them all, um, you'd be backing up and you'd always hear one tinging its way up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's tinging its way up the tube! It's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. <laughs> Ding tong, ping pong, it's tinging its way up the tube. <laughs> that sounds like something from Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's just, I'm just demonstrating that because that's how many of them there were around the house you'd drop mm. them they'd go in every corner and that like that kind of something they'd be that's everywhere you'd be backing amazing. up singing it up Sheila's getting married Hannah gets confetti don't buy any confetti go to cupboard <laughs> under stairs <laughs> so um so yeah that's a little memory there isn't it it that is a little memory up. no it's so a really little memory the, the strange tic tac house Why? in yeah. Salford <laughs> where everything is made of tic tacs wow that must have been a hell of that's a hell of a time with your parents there oh. the old tic tac remnants no, better you see you're you're saying oh what a boring story that is yeah. but when when I see you uh, regravel the drive yeah smell it <laughs> suck suck the drive if you want <laughs> <laughs> no but it's different when my mum and dad are there and they can remember that and they're going oh yeah yeah the tic tac incidents and stuff <laughs> the tic -tac. what's known as the tic tac incident <laughs> the tic tac incident <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking awesome. I just can't understand, I still can't understand why. Why would you get that much Tic Tacs? There's no fucking point. At all. <laughs> Let's just never speak of the Tic Tac incident. Yeah, I just imagine the clock ticking. No, it's Christmas Day, I go, what are you smiling at? Oh, remember it used to ting up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you should think about sending this to Hollywood. Listen, what do you remember then? <laughs> what, what do, do you I remember? remember? That's wow. an amazing thing to That's say. That's a difficult question to answer. Yeah, I don't. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Nothing. Carl, I know you like to be kept abreast of all the latest breaking science news. Did you read recently about the blind mice that they have been able to make see again? And, um... Uh, hopefully, they're, they're, whatever they did, which allowed these mice to be able to see again, they're hoping to be able to do with humans in maybe about ten years' time. Or at least begin tests. <laughs> Extraordinary, isn't it, to be able to... I mean, to be able to cure blindness would it, be a it, remarkable it, achievement in science. It is, but it's just that thing how they say they've done it on mice and what have you. Yeah. If I was blind and I went in for the meeting with mm. the doctor, yeah. and they said, do you want yours doing? And then they said, like... Mm done it on mice, that wouldn't be good enough for me. <laughs> I'd say, look, when the blind fella gets in, don't say we've done it on mice, just say we've done this on eyes. <laughs> if he goes, what eyes? Just say, just a pair of eyes. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you say mouse's eyes, it's like, well, it's, it's not the same. And it no. sort of, it would make me go, I'll leave it. Yeah, and then you, you, you wake up. You know, for, uh, it's really, 
interesting to think about you know blindness you know if you are blind since birth if you are if you are blind since birth okay you never actually used your eyes before you don't really understand what are colors and what what is like you know what is there to see for you the whole like you know planet is dark and black and maybe in with time you know just growing up you just got used to it you don't really understand what you're missing so as hard as it can be to be blind when you when you're born it's really harder to lose your like you know sight after for example 18 years of like if you're 18 or 15 or 20 and then lose your sight that would yeah, that would fucking kill me. But yeah, it's a, just really weird exper like experiment to even think of, think like a blind person from birth. You know, you don't understand what are colors. You don't know what you are missing. You don't really. For you, you just grow up. You grew up like blind, and that's what you are. I don't know if it's like that. I don't know. That's horrible. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know what? We're about this. Let's keep watching. Captain, you can see, but you've got very tiny eyes right in the. Uh, the you put in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared of cats. It's just eyes. I think I just don't like having my eyes messed with, and even if it was blind, I just I wouldn't like it. Right. Uh, and I think mine are more active than most. My eyes. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Um, I agree. Well, I went for a what's her name, Steve. You don't know. I, I've, I've had uh, problems with my legs. Oh, Christ <laughs> almighty. He's the same. What are you, 33? He's a high And you talk like you're a 70 year old. Honestly, man. the slightest thing, he's got time off work for this. He went to the dentist three <laughs> times in one week. He goes, no, his legs rubbed two times a week for no, some I reason. Don't. I don't. In and out of the kidney hospital. And they're going, there's no kidney stone, Mr. Pilton. And he's going, oh, right. Christ oh. almighty, do some fucking work. No, the thing is, I've been, <laughs> in the last, like, 30 odd years, I've been working hard. And I've let my body get run down a bit. <laughs> How have you, like, you're 30, what are you? 30, 33. Right, uh, 33, sorry to start with such a hard question. <laughs> but how have you been working for 30 years? Well, I just have, I sort of, uh, I got on with it. At three? <laughs> at three? No, I'm Well, you didn't saying. get on with anything at school, did you? Because you were just <laughs> pissing about. Yeah. You weren't working yeah. out there. What was the first job you got? How old were you? Uh, I was 15. Right, okay, so you've been working for 15 years then, okay, good, Yeah, but right. I had my paper round when I was 10, didn't I? and that was, that was hard graft. That's why I'm bald and that, getting up at half four. It all adds up, doesn't it? All adds up. So anyway, uh, mm. I kicked my height when I was a kid. <laughs> He always says this, A, like it's a classic story that everyone should know, everyone and also like, the phrase, kicking my own height. Yeah. No, Explain so what you mean. Just kick me out when I was when I was kick a kid. Your, no one understands. You kicked your leg up to I the height that you were at that time. Yeah. Yeah. So I kicked you were, my height. It's not a well-known phrase. You can't just go, I kicked me out. So you were so you're four and a half foot, and you've put your toe up into the air four and a half feet. By <laughs> yeah, but I, I landed on my back. Right. <laughs> Imagine seeing that in the playground. They go, get Carl Pilkington to kick his height. I bet he falls over like a fucking penguin. Well, in the playground. My dad got me to do it in the garden. Brilliant. But so why, why did he you fall over? They tickets. The neighbours were cracking <laughs> up. Yeah. Why did you fall over? Did, did, you, did you hit I yourself just in the I head? I didn't kicked me height. I mean, my leg got high up, but I was that chuffed that I got that high, I didn't think of putting my leg down again. <laughs> So anyway, I landed on my back yeah. and uh, and I did some damage, I think. Yeah. And it's because Definitely. of that. You sure you didn't land on your head? And it's because of that, like all like, all them years and what have you, yeah. I've had like a trap nerve in my leg. Right. So I thought, right, now's the time to have it done. Because when you get older, I mean, it was the kidney stone thing. Once you've seen, once you've sort of looked at, you know, death and what have you, mm. uh, it just makes you think, got to start looking after your body. Do you think body. you could die of the, the uh, slightly bad leg that you've had for 15 years? <laughs>
Well, you just... think that'll eventually kill you? <laughs> well, well, it could do if I can't run away from danger quick enough. Right. Again, you're thinking of <laughs> Jurassic Park coming true. Well, whatever then. I'm just saying, you've yeah. got to look after yourself. You know, if there's anyone listening you get out there who's got a problem, get it sorted. I'll tell you I'll what, though, it. if you have to fight off danger and you kick them, <laughs> put the leg back down <laughs> immediately <laughs> after. So anyway, so I went to see this fella, to uh, like a professional uh, leg rubber. A um, professional leg rubber. <laughs> and he's, uh, he, he sort of said uh, a few things that were quite interesting. Mm. Remember that time when we had a chat? Professional leg rubber. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! When I read the title of the episode, I thought it's like a leg condom, to be honest. That's what the, that's what how I thought about it. Turns out it's a masseuse. Okay. On the last lot of like podcasts, I said, "Am I in charge of my brain, or is my brain in charge of me?" Yeah, do you remember what I said? That's the most stupid thing you've ever said. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, listen to this then. So oh. I go and see this leg rubber, professional leg rubber, yeah, right, and he is professional. Yeah. Right. Remember. So Leg rubber. You haven't said doctor at any point <laughs> yeah. in this conversation. He's a leg rubber. So, so this, this, whatever, however profound this is, it came from a man who is self-confessed professionally leg rubbing. <laughs> Not just leg. Does he, he do back, left and right or back, back rubbing as well? He does it all. Right. 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 So I'm in there, rubber. and I didn't mention about how I thought my brain was, you know, was in charge of me and stuff. Uh, I'm lying there. He's bending me about and what have you. Mm. The first problem he came across is that my nerves aren't long enough <laughs> on the body. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my nerves aren't long enough for your body. He yeah. was lifting my legs up and I was going, right, don't, whoa, stop that a minute, that's certain that. He's like, what do you mean? He said, I've only got them like, like just about... Well, that's your tendons. <laughs> no, no, but your nerves are in your legs as well. And your tendons don't hurt, it's your nerves that kick in. It's your nerves that make you well, go Yeah, but hurts. they hurt because your tendons are being overstretched. Well, I'm just telling you what he said. Right? So, so he lifted the leg up and I went, right, was stop Was this above a laundrette, this surgery? <laughs> No, it's a proper place. He had like towels and all that on oh, the Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's got towels. Oh, there. okay, yeah. yeah. So, um. Definitely a laundry. So, so I'm lying there. <laughs> Other people's towels. <laughs> he's got yeah, towels halfway through his pants. Yeah, yeah, halfway through, he said, You haven't got 20p, have you? In the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm lying there, and he lifts the leg up. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, that hurts a lot. Mm. So he said, Oh, yeah, short nerves. And I said, What do you mean? He said, You, you know, you're, you're outside of the body. Is longer than your inside. Right, he doesn't sound like a doctor. He does not sound like a doctor. The outside of your body's longer yeah. than the inside. <laughs> So he, he he had me lying on my front and what have you, and he was sort of crushing me back. Right. And he was going, does that hurt? I said, yeah. Oh. It was like 48 quid, this as well. Mm -hmm. Putting me through all this pain and what have you. Well, you got some good advice, though. He said, you're pretty stressed. And I said, yeah. So it's, you know, I've, I've quite a bit of stress in my life. And I explained to him about the kidney stones and that. So, oh, you know, that, that's that. He probably went, oh, shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> up. He probably said that. He said that's where you were probably got a lot of tenseness. A lot of tenseness. Mm. Is that the phrase he used as yeah, a trained no, professional a, rubber? Or he's, he's a doctor. He's definitely a doctor. Yeah. So anyway, he said, do you relax much? You, you know, haven't you got any Lenore, <laughs> have you? I want these sheets to come out nice, nice and soft. He said, do you, uh, you know, you should learn to meditate or something. He said, because you, you know, you, you're all tensed up. Yeah. We're living in a stressful world, as I tell me yeah. about it. So when I was telling him that I had problems relaxing, mm. he said, oh, he said that you're obviously the sort of person He's, oh, he's colourful enough to spend 46 quid for this <laughs> hokum. He said, you're the sort of person whose brain is in charge of them, <laughs> rather than them being in charge of the so brain. So all you did was you met a person <laughs> as stupid as you. <laughs> yeah. No, but I thought it's interesting that he's, he, this is what he does for a living. Yeah. And he picked up, that was the first visit, That's the first, I'd only been there about 22 minutes. Yeah. You get half an hour for 48 quid. Right. But uh, he, he picked up on that yeah. within like... No, he saw a right minutes. fucking sucker coming. No, he did pick up on that, yeah. Okay. But anyway, the don't, reason... Don't go him again. The reason, uh, well, I am doing I've got locked into it. I've got to go at least another three times. Why? I'm trying what to get out of it. I don't know. I didn't realise <laughs> that you have to have a minimum amount of things. <laughs> so what I'm saying... I can't is wait. To, well, what's the wisdom he's going to come up with next week? That would be brilliant. <laughs> I will kind of... Yeah. No, but what I'm saying Your is... Your blood's paranoid. <laughs> we were talking... You've got jealous bones. <laughs> You're the sort of person whose stomach's hungrier than you. <laughs> <laughs> what absolute fucking nonsense. Yeah. Do you know like how we were talking about eyes, weren't we? He said, uh, he said the thing is, you know, you've got to be able to relax and uh, the way to do it is to focus, right? He said, mm. uh, I said, what do you mean? He said, when you go to sleep... You're the sort of person whose eyes can see further than you can. <laughs> he said, when you go to sleep, 
close your eyes. As soon as you're just living the moment, staring at the ceiling. Carl, keep breathing. <laughs> yeah, keep breathing. Close your eyes. You're not dead. It may seem like it, but you're not. You're just asleep. So he said. Uh, oh fuck me. He said. He said, "What you've got to do when you go to sleep? Focus <laughs> on your toe." Right. Okay. He said, "I'm just thinking about nothing else." I said, "He's a witch." <laughs> Under the bed. No, he just said focus on the toe and uh, mm. see how you go on and what have you. Next time you come in, let me know. Anyway, I gave this a go, <laughs> focusing on the toe. Uh, so what does this mean? You mean you sat in bed staring at your toes? No, this is it. He, he said like lie Visualize down, shut it. your eyes, and and sort of look at it, sort of thing. <laughs> so I was lying there. And it just wasn't working because. Oh, Carl, this isn't medicine. Because I was. You Even were, you were thinking eyes. of a finger. Well, no. It, <laughs> <laughs> he found out he was thinking of someone else's toe. Yeah. Next it day, someone work. called up and said, Carl, yeah. my toe's better. Yeah. No, the problem was, I was still using my eyes, even though I had them shut. <laughs> 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 So what does that mean? Oh God. You were still oh, just playing yeah, with them in yeah. What does that mean? I was straining them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right. So like, uh, you guys know I've been all over Southeast Asia and you know India, and there's a lot of you know meditation. Uh, yoga and all these things and to be honest I just I'm not spiritual at all I don't really give a shit about the uh, like it's not my thing and I also don't like people touching me especially people I don't know okay so but but you know that the thing about focusing on the toe I heard that before yeah I actually heard that before I don't, oh my god, I just don't understand how people, you know, how lost you have to be to actually, I don't know, need spirituality. <laughs> For me, it's like, you know, after all, you know, it's all chemicals in your body and some things do some stuff to your body, you know, like meditation, if you know how to meditate digitate like well you can you can you know get some dopamine you can get some you know ho certain hormones that will help you relax and uh, have a good night's sleep for example or something like that but when you start thinking about it from outside perspective like you know hey it's spirituality and stuff like that that's when you lose me all right but yeah, I love how Carl just keeps an open mind for any idea that ever comes to his attention. You know, when somebody tells him, hey, close your eyes and focus on your toe and just keep focusing on your toe until you sleep. He just go and does that and try. he tries it, it works, it doesn't, mm, who gives a shit. I had him shut, but I was sort of so looking yeah. down at me. You were trying to see through your eyelids at your toe. Well, I was, oh, I was looking down so I'm thinking that's where the foot is. <laughs> because of that, I was straining them and they were stinging, so I had to pack it in. I'm going to die. I am going to die. Why, out of interest though, and this is this will sound naive, why don't we remember <laughs> the very early moments of our lives? Why, why is it, is it, is it because it would be too harrowing to remember the point at which we uh, sort of born? Because I don't really remember anything from those first few years. Why, why is it? Is it just because the brain's not fully formed at that moment? Uh, I don't know. The memory's not sufficiently uh, I, developed? I, I, I honestly it's got to be trauma, on it? It's the things, <laughs> again, we were talking about me being younger, and the youngest I could remember back to was 1978. How old were you then? Uh, when were you born? 72. What, you, can only, you couldn't remember earlier than six? Um, you can remember back to about two or three, most people. What, no, you... no way. No way. My mum and dad don't even remember me then. <laughs> <laughs> My mum and dad don't remember me back then. But yeah, to be honest, for me, like... Maybe the early, the earliest uh, memory I have is I was five years old. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. My mum and dad don't even remember me then. That's <laughs> amazing. 
because they, oh, they, they, they oh, pinpoint they things. All the tic tacs they never yeah. yeah. Do you remember when Carl was uh, six? Of course I do. Five? Yeah. Four? Uh, yeah. Three? No. <laughs> Two? No! <laughs> because you're not doing anything, are you? <laughs> we love it, Dad! Remember so, me then! And, and it's oh, weird. I and remember, <laughs> must have been about two, sitting on a potty surrounded by Lego. I oh remember that. Very st <laughs> strong image I have of that. No. That's that. so you no, wouldn't remember no, that, no, were you? No, would you, no, you, you weren't there, were you? What do you mean? What, you don't remember Steve sitting on a potty <laughs> surrounded by Lego? No, I mean, I can't remember having a potty. I remember well, having one know, of... I'm not no, suggesting you have the you same memory. You used to memory. go in a fucking litter tray. Now I know why to eat a Tic Tac <laughs> way around this shit. Um, okay, so what is your very first memory? <laughs> the one that cropped up the other day was having my eyes sort of uh, glued together by... Um, <laughs> Gangsters. <laughs> Where's the fucking Tic Tacs? <laughs> no, I was, we lost our truck for you, yeah. When I, when I was on holiday and I slept near the window and the window was open, and I used to wake up in the morning with my eyes shut. My mum and dad thought I was having a lovely lie in. I was just going to open my eyes. <laughs> but what was I was so what did you mean? Why were they glued? Why were they, what do you mean they were glued? But why did you say, Mum, Dad, I'm not asleep. My eyes are glued together. It's just, you get a build up on, yeah. the, on the eyelashes. Yeah, yeah. And it all, it, when they came in and you could sense them looking at I didn't know they were there. <laughs> I went to what's her name, mm. Harley Street. I went for a, a check up, mm. and uh, like a medical, mm. posh. You know Harley Street. It's like yeah. it's the top doctors, isn't it? I've never yeah. been before. Yeah. All posh buildings and that. Uh, went up to the counter. I Somebody thought, has to try and make me understand what is posh. You know, is it like, is it like, for example, here in Jordan, we have villagers, we have Bedouins, and then we have high class people is it that the high class people they're called posh or the high class uh, the high class uh, way of talking is called posh what is this you know I, I I'm watching a lot of English TV lately I hear it I can't understand it in the you know in the sentence but I don't really I can't really grab you know the essence of what that means okay so please you know in the comments down below tell me exactly what does it mean to be posh and are you posh guys just tell me posh posh said uh i see the doctor they said name yeah right. it was 10 minutes gone wait in the waiting room dead posh waiting room dead fancy big leather furniture fancy. and that yep loads of magazines i mean like a, like a news agents yep. in the middle of the room on a table loads of them I'm looking through, and there's the, you know, there's the top quality ones. Your Esquire, you know, GQ, Classy, Yacht Weekly, uh, all that, Country Life, uh, Boys, <laughs> Boys, it's one there, yeah, Boys. What's that? Right, lifted up like the one on top of it, and it's like Boys with a Z. Two fellas stood there, looking uh, sort of Italian looking. Oh, oh yeah, right. Dungarees on. Uh, no shirt then. No shirt, just dungarees sort of unbuttoned, hanging down a little bit. Sure. So no one else is about. I'm never going to buy a magazine like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can tell us you look through you a couple of magazines. I had I had a little little look just because I thought you know like I say you, it's one You're chance. You're always looking to learn, aren't you? Always looking to learn. <laughs> yeah. Always open. You know there might have been something in there that I go right. I get it now. I understand why why they like doing that. Or whatever. Yeah. All right. So uh, she said I was going to, you know, ten minute wait, I can, I can have a quick flick through. <laughs> Picked it up, had a look. Um, still none the wiser. Why? Well, what did you see when you opened it up? Um, just loads of, uh, I mean, like I've said to you before about, I don't know why they like looking at knobs when they've got one of their own. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's no right. surprises there, you're not going to go, oh, yeah, so Sure, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Some had, like, car oil on the face. Uh, not about. Yeah. There was someone sat on um, like a, a one of them square things of hay. Oh yeah, sat the there, like sort of sat on it, straddling it. Yeah, uh, that must have been uncomfortable. Again, not about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just looking, just looking like it's normal. That's crazy. Like like that. No farmer walks around like that. What's the other one? There's a uh, you know motorbike. They always like them. Yeah. So I'm going through and and then like the content is all puns. Right. It, it, it all everything was to do with knob. <laughs> right. That's the only bit they're interested in. Look in the these, male body. Look at look at this bloke spreading this huge throbbing thing. The bike's not bad either. Yeah. yeah all that. Yeah. Loads of them. Uh, it was just. Uh, 
Nope. Uh, just all, just just cock, just hundred <laughs> percent. Like let's let's just talk about the knob. That's yeah. a good name for a, 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 a guy magazine. Hundred percent cock. Hundred percent cock. Did it not at any moment sort of maybe slightly under you that you might the doctor might come in <laughs> and see you reading boys? No, because I or wasn't. What about if I walked through? Because I remember once when you were in hospital about to have um, a tube going down your knob and you were sitting in your pants with stockings on and I walked through and you were horrified. So what if I'd have walked in then and went, yeah, God, I would, what are you I doing? I just said, look at this. Look at this, it's free. And I, and you, and I said, why did you bring that with you? No, I would have just said, look, does it look like a bright with me? Look yeah, yes, it does. Because well, so I would at... never see, you would never see a gay magazine in a doctor's waiting room. So I think you bought that <laughs> and then and pretended that it was that's, there. That's the thing. That's, I was amazed by that because there was no like you know there was no Mayfair or anything. <laughs> they just catered for like if you wanted a bit of knob action. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, I mean, really, I could have complained. Sure. So if you're gonna have this, where's a bit of the other? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You had a bit of this. Where's a bit of the other? I know one of the things that, that they had, and I thought they did really struggling with like, ideas. They had a sococo. <laughs> As in Sudoku. <laughs> yeah. Sococo. Sococo. Surely, surely Sudico is better. No, because it was like suck cock Yeah, but dick as well. Suck dick Yeah. What, and it's, it was still a Sudoku style puzzle, but yeah, it just had that name. Yeah, yeah. It's just so everything. Not it was all just Sudoku, but called suck cock <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Now, that if I if I was gay, do you know, like, let's you have say a game of Lubo. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a game of Knobopoly. Knoberation. Knoberation. <laughs> Knoberation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a game of chess. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> chess. Cock. <laughs> uh, let's have a game of fuckaroo. <laughs> well, that works for either sex. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's how we spend our okay, Christmases. Fuck a poo. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. Leg rubber. I actually thought it was a condom for the for your leg for some reason. I didn't really think it's a masseuse. Anyway, guys, uh, can you guys tell me in the comments down below what what does posh means? You know, I want to understand it. I try to understand this. Like all I know, it's you know fancy. You know, that's how I understand it. You know, and just to be posh is to be pa fancy or something like that. Anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching, please, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and, you know, share my videos if you like them as much as you can share them, you know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace the fuck out. See ya! Don't forget to like and subscribe to get all new videos. Have a beautiful day! That's my best friend. Best friend.